Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Tuesday morning market webcast. Okay. Um, so we talked about follow through. We talked about what the bulls and the bears needed to do yesterday. Um, I want to go right to the hourly chart. I mean, you can see here on the daily, uh, we traded as high as uh, 0.575 yesterday. Uh, we've been up to 0.5. Uh, we just printed it actually before I hit the record button here. So we are testing the current highs. Um, it will be interesting to see if we've got some kind of resistance area here. What's more interesting to me is whether 2900 goes support and we can lift up above and kind of go. You can see how narrow the hourly bands are. They are setting up the next large move in the tape. Um, we didn't churn yesterday, although we did at times. I, my, my concern going into yesterday was we had a big move down. We've had a big move up. The market needs to breathe and you know take a little time and figure it out. Now, relatively speaking, we did churn. You don't go from 40 and 50 handle um, uh, range days, you know, you know, to a two handle range day. Uh, with the exception of the initial move up off the open, we really just traded, we traded between 88 and 2905, which, you know, is under 20 handles, which for this tape is pretty tame. Um, you know, you look back at Friday, we traded basically from 2840 up to, you know, 86. Um, so this range is, is, you know, is muted by comparison. We've had a pretty flat overnight, although it's been steadily walked up. So when we get into the bell, those 0506 hold it again. Do we come back in to retest 95, retest this hourly mid band, see where we stand, potentially retest the lows from yesterday uh, down in around 2880? If that's the case, then if the bulls can't hold some kind of a double bottom scenario, then we start to slip back and the, uh, the, the daily, uh, the daily mid band eventually becomes important. Although it's a little deep for me, it's down at, it's down at 2834. Um, and you got the weekly pivot down here as well. The bears are running out of time to engage that weekly pivot though. If this just wants to be a week that grinds slowly to the upside, then the bulls really just have to hold serve above 95 today, uh, get above 2905, and try to close in somewhere in the 2900s, and then they, they can continue to progress into the end of the week. Um, there's not a lot to discuss. The only thing I would talk about trade management-wise is it's very tempting to fight price in this kind of tape. Um, and we did a few shorts yesterday with some success. Um, it wasn't a huge day for us yesterday. It was about an 11-handle day. It was a pretty muted day. I didn't want to do a ton. Uh, we got into a couple of nice trades. Um, we got caught near the highs and took one disaster stop and then you know we got it back on and then some with the next couple of trades but um, it's the kind of tape that'll make you over trade it's the kind of tape where you can start to get ideological and dig your heels in and say you know what? we've gone up enough this is enough 2905 is enough I mean you look where we were last week you look where we are now it can't possibly go up anymore oh yeah it can and until the bears start to convert, convert important areas like the hourly mid band, which you can see it's nothing but support. They'll play around with it a little bit, but they can't convert it to resistance. Okay. It, uh, until they start to convert these important support areas, hourly mid band, the roundy, even consistently on the shorter term, volume weighted average price that all comes in around 95, 96 today. So, you know, and until you are consistently making lower highs and lower lows, short trades are good trades, but they're still just rentals. I mean, we did we did a couple of shorts yesterday. We were short um, uh, 99. We were short 94, and we and we made you know we made good handles on it. But when you get down into 87, 88, and it can't get through, you have to see it for what it is, which is support. All right. Everybody have a great day. There'll be more stuff out on social. Check that out. Come check us out. Trade them well. I'll talk to you soon. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook, and join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com.
trade him well.